Ivory and I'm going to show you a couple of guitars today. Uh, the first one is the electric guitar. You see this one played with a, a lot of rock groups play with the electric guitar and you know uh, a lot of people play electric guitar. But the next one is uh, the Bissum and there's a Squire jazz bass guitar. This is the bottom, this is the bass. This is where you get all your, 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 your bottom, the foundation of the song and stuff. And this one over here is uh, an acoustic guitar. This is a Washburn acoustic and this is the one that we're going to be paying most attention to today. I'm going to show you what the, the, get the parts of the guitar, I'm going to show you what they are and what makes up the whole guitar. This is the headstock of the guitar. These are the tuning machines or tuning pegs. Of course these are the, the uh, strings this is the nut that goes across it has little grooves that hold the strings in place this is the neck of the guitar this is the fretboard of the guitar these are the frets on the fretboard of the guitar all the way down and this whole thing makes up the neck now this is the body of the guitar sound hole and the strings come from the top and connect down here on what is called the bridge the bridge of the guitar and these particular ones strings are held in by uh, I forget what you call these little things <laughs> this is the nut of the guitar it's called the nut and this is the top of the guitar the, which represents this black line right here that represents that black line all the line that you see going across like that, those are the strings. You have six strings on there, just like you have six strings on the guitar. And every bar that's going across those lines, those are called frets. And that's what these are right here, all the way down the neck. Now it shows you how to play an A major that means you have to look at the strings that the strings start from one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, the A chord, it shows the two, that two represents the second finger on your hand, the three represents the third finger, and the four represents the fourth finger. And I can show you how to finger that right quick. This is A, this is the first, the second finger, third finger, and the fourth finger within that fret. That's an A major. You want to place your thumb on the on this E string, the bottom string, which is the E uh, the number six string. That way, you won't hit it when you strum, because that's not going to be one of the strings that you hit. You're going to hit five on up to one. So you put your thumb there and you just strum down. You can tell the difference between. A, a major and A minor. The A major sounds more happier, has a more brighter, happier sound to it. A minor has a more sad sound to it, a more sad, more serious sound. A major makes you smile. A minor makes you frown or a little sad. <laughs> okay, what you can do, to, you know, to kind of like condition your fingers to move where you want them to move, is just some finger exercises that you can do, like walking up the fretboard. Do that on every string. Like this, one, two, three, four, one, and uh, uh, condition your 
an inky finger. You probably want to take it slow so you can start being able to control your pinky finger. That's a good exercise to do right there. That's it, y'all.